Here's a guy who's not had it at bat the entire postseason. Trying to get on in front of Miguel Cabrera. His team down by one in this game and down three games to nothing to the Giants. Here comes the 0-1. Get one more at bat, at least. Here's a two one. Yes! Oh, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. 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 It better be more than a tweak in this situation in the World Series. It's like a black flag. Here it is now a TT pitch. Yes! The strike here to get Don Kelly. And here we go. With the gun to the edge, you have nobody on. After four strikers, after four strikers, to get Jackson. Series in Cincinnati with a potential winning run at the plate. Getting Bruce and then Lula trying to wrap up the World Series, the 0 1. And ball one strike. He almost said after that, he'll never forget what it was like to allow his teammates to celebrate. Moving on to the NLCS, but now he has a chance. Save this game and win the World Series. But one more. Yeah! <laughs> He's going to get it again. Do it again, man. Do it again. Tigers, get to the final strike. Chase ball two. And Spieler on deck, but all eyes on Cabrera. Seventh World Championship in franchise history, or second. So it's moving to San Francisco, 58.
organization celebrates here in Detroit, Michigan, and night after night it was somebody different and Bruce Bochy at the controls. What a postseason, and those fans in San Francisco can celebrate. They were so great at AT&T Park, and this World Series, as the 2010 World Series, ends on the road. And it ends on a call third string from Sergio Ramos to the triple crown winner, Miguel Cabrera. You can see the last shake one time, and it threw the fastball. Ramos, who told us during this postseason, he finally has the confidence to know he can do it. And that first game celebration, the first safety celebration for Romo. Right there. And he struck him outside in the tent to allow his teammates to celebrate with him in the middle. It's over for the Tigers and Jim Whalen. They struck the Yankees to get rid of, but the Giants struck them to win it all. The game winning hit with two outs. <laughs> Off the bat of Marco Scudero. As Pagan and the Giants celebrate. <laughs> what a postseason. For a guy who turns 37 in two days, Marco Scudero, who's standing by with Aaron Andrews. What did you say? He got hit in the head so bad? Yeah. What happened? Somebody just hit me from behind. I think it was Lopez. It was bad. <laughs> All right, well, listen, you told me when you guys got to the World Series that the feeling was priceless. What is it now that you've won one? Oh, um, I don't even know what to say right now. I, I mean, need to apologize to my friend. He's a Tigers fan. He just won the World Series champ. We are right now, and he starts to explain. It's still priceless. <laughs> you know, this was a team that had to fight back in the division series, the league series. What does it say that you just swept the Tigers? That's what it makes so much special, the way we did it. You know, we're all, we're always against the wall, and, but, you know, my team is just came through first series, second series, and now we swept the Tigers, and that's what I told my team, but please, I don't want to be against the wall again. Just, let's try to get rid of this quick. <laughs> Congratulations. By the way, it was a vocal song that hit you. Was that? It was vocal song, Bogey, that hit you. What is it? Go find it. <laughs> All right, Aaron, thank you. A 4-3 win. The Tigers, this will be a World Series known for a team that was so loaded offensively. The Tigers did not get a hit after the sixth inning. And had only five hits all night in game four. The pitching, the defense, the timely hitting, the jump. Thanks, Joe. Go ahead, Kenny. The reactions by the Giants. Brandon Bill will have a ring. Buster Posey will have two. 
And now we'll go down to Ken Rosenthal in the middle of all those bodies on the field. Thanks, Joe. Buster, yeah, it's such a difficult road to get here. Division Series, League Championship Series. How surprised are you that this is a sweep? Well, we're just happy right now. Tonight was a battle, and I think tonight was a fitting way for us to end it. Because those guys play hard. They didn't stop. And uh, it's unbelievable feeling. How important was it for you guys to close it out tonight, knowing how good they are, knowing Verlander could pitch tomorrow? I think it's very important. We get Verlander tomorrow, we know how good he is. We have Fister and Sanchez back at home if they went that far. So it was very good. Your pitching dominated this series, going back even to the NLCS. What made them so good down the stretch here? You know what? They executed pitches. They had a game plan going in. Tons of credit to Dave Forgetti, our pitching coach. <laughs> and uh, those guys executed. They deserve all the credit. Buster, congratulations. Joe, back to you. All right. Thank you, Kenny. That thoughtful young catcher who would likely be the league MVP this year hit a big two-run home run tonight. Part of a 4-3 win in 10 minutes. It'll be the Giants here on the road in Detroit who will hold that trophy high. And we'll come back for the trophy presentation and our post-game show on the other side of the break. What a postseason for the Giants. What a World Series for now. In 2012, they're world champs. Back after this. Congratulations to the San Francisco Giants for reclaiming the World Series championship. Be a part of this historic moment with MLB Authentic Ooh, Collection okay, Championship it. Merchandise. Call 877-GO-GO-GO. 